What's up, my brothers and sisters, kings, queens, and gods? It's your boy, Raharu, your messenger, your pastor, your minister, all that wrapped up in one. Um, got a subject for you because, you know, um, a friend of mine is on Facebook that I grew up as a child. My best, he was my best friend and he had a brother and he had a sister. And um, we used to hang out all the time. He was my best friend. And uh, his, his younger brother, he, you know, he was cool too. And I got along with him. So we grew up together as children all the way up to high school. And then when we got to high school, uh, he got married and, you know, I did my thing. I moved out of town, blah, 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 blah. But the thing is, uh, I, I stay in touch. I have a stay in touch with his sister because uh, I had lost track of um, my buddy and she said she didn't talk to him as much and she didn't know too much about him, but you know, that's here or there. But the thing is, I heard she, she told me her brother committed suicide. And I was like, you know, devastated but I understand the devastation have to do with, with ones taking their own life. And let me tell you why that is devastating, not in the sense of taking your life, but what you're gonna to have to go through because you took your life and you broke the universal contract. So the thing is, we have, we know uh, we're living in some in some tough times, and we're living in some trying times, and we even lived through the COVID uh, uh, pandemic, and a lot of people stood up and didn't take the take the, the jab, and guess what? They were threatened to lose their jobs. People who were to blame because if they didn't take the the jab. Uh, people were saying we are just responsible for keeping COVID from going and we have no respect for the other people. And people went, uh, they lost jobs, nurses lost jobs, doctors lost jobs, military people quit their jobs, they got dishonorable discharge because they didn't want to take the jab. And now just for the, for the, for the, uh, just for the record, People who was taking the jab is finding it hard to keep themselves above ground because that jab has a adverse effect on many. And now we have not heard about the COVID pandemic since last year. COVID had suddenly disappeared. You know, the flu went away, the common cold, Dang near went away because they all was called COVID. Every time you had a sniffle, it was COVID. So, just to say, stay in the course and don't buy it in, in the BS, the matrix. But this is to say, when you commit suicide, brothers and sisters, trying to get away from the hard times, what I'm saying is, uh, the rain will come, the thunder will come. The downpouring will come. Strong winds will come. But there come rainbows. There come sunshine. There come beautiful sceneries. There come happy times. But can you stand the rain? That was New Edition song says, everybody loves sunny days. But can you stand the rain and that's the question we have to we have to be strong and make it through because see when you come down here so you got to understand you're on a journey on a school and you're trying to escape this uh hellish world and you have to know the the, the rules of engagements okay now why is it important not to commit suicide Everybody that's living right now, you're on a journey, and the people you're gonna meet is part of your journey experience. We don't meet people just because. Everything is, 
It's by design of who you're going to meet and the reason you're meeting them and the purpose of the meeting is going to keep you on a course that you, you had a contract on when you came down here. So what happens when you commit suicide? You break that contract and guess what has to happen? The universe has to regather and make adjustment to the people that you're not going to meet who was scheduled to meet you to, uh, to intertwine with your life to set your path on the path that it should go. And that's what I'm trying to tell you. So this is why it's, it's, it's frowned on when you commit suicide. Because, listen, listen. You're going to have to start all over. Bang on mosquitoes. You're going to have to start all over from a baby. And from a baby, you're going to have to go right back to that time when you commit suicide. And your lesson is get over it. You will have to do that. You will have to do that over and over until you get it. See, we live forever. We are everlasting. You know, the spiritual body is everlasting. But you're going to learn and, and, and grow. And none of us are to stay stagnant in our spirituality growth. You know, it's levels to this understanding of the of your of your spiritual uh, 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 rising. You know, you 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 become higher and higher. Just like these video games, you want to level up. In spirituality, uh, you level up. And you're supposed to continue to grow. Like I said, this is an everlasting assignment. So you're going to have to come back and face that same situation and pass it. You went all this time, you, you, you in your 30s, late 30s, and you want to start all over? No, no. Your time is, is already recorded. Our journey is already for... For Dane, you understand? I mean, our travels is, is definitely is, 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 is measured out. You know, in the ancient wall, on the ancient walls of Egyptian, of the Egyptian understanding, Pharaoh, the priest, was measuring Pharaoh. It wasn't measuring his height, even though the ruler showed his height. It showed him that the amount of years of life he's going to have to, he has to spend on this planet before he goes into the afterlife. So, I'm not going to tarry too long about, you know, uh, committing suicide. Time's going to be tough and rough here on. But I suggest continue to eat the fruits of the Spirit, continue to love one another, continue, continue to support one another, Continue to be a plus in the world. You don't have to be a negative in the world. We have plenty of negatives in the world, but be a plus. Don't take nothing personal. When somebody says something to you, don't take it personal. Don't let their uh, don't let their idea or false reality shape you. Don't take it personal. Someone say something racist to you. Shug it, shug, shug it off. Don't take it personal. And your life will be much better. You understand? Just continue to say, just continue to love, continue to do good works, continue to be uh, somebody who, who, who wants to be around you. Be that. Look in the mirror. Be the man in the mirror. Change your ways. And you're going to see those uh, storms and Rainy days don't stay for, don't stay long at, at all. You know, don't stay long at all. So, with that being said, brothers and sisters, kings, queens, and gods, take care of yourself. Don't don't let these don't let don't let the what you're going through be a be your downfall. Stay the course. You will leave. Your journey will uh, become. Obsolete. We will leave this planet. Ain't no one here 
or no plant or no nothing here is supposed to live forever. So this is what I want to say. Stay strong. It's the fruit of the spirit. Good times and great times are coming. Even if you leave on your appointed time, which is a beautiful time because life Leaving this world, you live again. You, 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 death is living. You know, the unk, the Egyptian unk, is about the continuing of reproducing and the continuation of living, you see. And so that's what we want to do. We want to continue to live. Uh, we continue. We don't die. I say we eternal. Eternal is what it is. Eternal. So with that being said, brothers and sisters, kings, queens, and gods, stay strong, be of good cheer, and love one another, and all that good stuff. And with that being said, I'm out. Peace, love, and happiness. This is your boy Rob, signing out.